Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Chris with Robonics Gaming and this is Calibria Crystal Guardians. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the latest updates that have come out. This is patch 2.1.0. Patch 2.1. Um, and yeah, there's a, there's going to be quite a bit to talk about through this video. Um, and we're just going to run through all the added features and kind of fixes that have been implemented into the game lately. And also the happy Easter like mini event, which where they basically uh, spread a code out for all their social media, which you need to join together and then you can get a free, some free gifts uh, by entering a, a pack code. Uh, for those of you who want to do the event by yourselves, uh, I'm not going to spoil that for you. Uh, head over to the Facebook page now and you can try and figure it out for yourselves. For those people who just want to get the free rewards, then I will be posting the code uh, towards the end of this video and um, I'll, I'll give you a warning before then yeah if you don't want me to spoil that for you but yeah let's get into these updates okay so we're gonna start off stuff which has been added to the game these are the new kind of like tweaks or additions to the game uh the first one i'm kind of uh i'm pretty glad about and this is the new uh battle replay i'm just reading it how they've typed it so if it comes across you don't know what the hell that means uh let's just explain it so if we go into our just our normal farming stage uh, where we would normally just click on the auto challenge um, and click on the little cogs here um, so you can see they have added a new new little box purchase automatically when a lack of stamina so if you click that box what's that gonna that is gonna do when you click on the auto challenge you don't have enough energy to finish the five replays it's gonna purchase them for you with gems and restock your stamina uh, which, yeah, I think is a great addition. Kind of like stop splitting up them runs of five. And it kind of works perfectly as well. If you're doing just the auto challenge, you can level up your uh, lower stars, your, your one stars to get them fully leveled up. So yeah, that's nice. They have also fixed this button here. Um, so I don't know if anyone noticed this, um, but if you click on the, oh, it did say, it does say do not fight again on loss. Um, so if you untick that and you click the before, if you click the auto challenge, if you lost, it will stop the battles. So you have to click on that um, to have the opposite effect, if you know what I mean. So you can continue the battles. But, but now they've, they've, they've sorted it, so um, so you don't want that uh, ticked. So you just leave that off to continue your battles if you're going to lose. Um, I might as well just kick, click that one. Save. Brilliant. Uh, so that addition is pretty nice uh, especially since we are going to be doing a lot of grinding on this game then having automatically renew our stamina is going to be great a great addition okay so the next is the anti-cheat system the new anti-cheat system um i wasn't aware there were cheats on this game but yeah there's there's an anti-cheat system in there which is in better which i've implemented to the game so cool i should make the lives of other people who have been victims of cheating accounts a lot better so new inferno legion now support cross server battles this is how it reads but to me new inferno legion is what stands out because i hadn't seen this before um so if we go to our our battle map scroll across to the middle we can see a new uh, area up here which is inferno legion and uh, now this is kind of nice it's a new area it's kind of like pvp e uh player versus player versus environment that kind of thing so what it does is we just click on the information you guys can do this on your phones or pcs and it'll yeah, you just read for it and it'll tell you what it is uh inferno legion runs for one week at a time so every week this is going to reset um and battle details so 15 players will be selected as your opponents during the inferno legion claim victory to earn amazing rewards you will earn a treasure chest each time you defeat three opponents Continue defeating more enemies to collect more rewards. Um, <clears throat> so that just means at the start of the week, they're going to select uh, 15 other player teams, um, which you're going to do battle against. Every time you defeat three of those enemy teams, you're going to be reward rewarded with a chest, up to five chests. Um, okay, brilliant. So we're, we've done like two already, so let's do the third and see what kind of rewards we get from this. <clears throat> um I also like to mention as well these are like player characters teams um so you'll be finding these one time however notice notice these little uh, health bars at the bottom so if you click into battle <clears throat> we have them on all of our heroes as well so 
So if we take damage, it kind of chips away their health. So I'm assuming once they, once that's depleted, you're not able to use them again in this whole in, in this whole scenario. Okay, so let's see if we've got. I'm, on, I'm just gonna stick with this team. Let's give this a quick battle. See if we can take these guys on. Um, do do do. We've got. We don't have enough speed. Okay, she should be able to finish most of them off. Um, just thought I threw that bit. Uh, but you can see I'm taking damage, so my, my health bars are going to go down. We get some gems from this as well, which is nice. Um, and we've defeated some of these. So this is going to be a whole new team. Uh, and we're going to get some more gems. So the, so the gem reward gets increased by every three battles as well. Um, and you can see if I go in, these guys, like this guy's almost dead. So replace him soon um, so let's see what kind of rewards we're looking at this is just the first lot so I'm assuming they're gonna get better as they go up so we just got a, a two-star ascension cat and 10 energy um so yeah so that's a new feature which is brilliant that's gonna be something new every week to try and like sink your teeth into um and another additional thing to get done um and this uses energy as well uh, so yeah so not bad a nice new little addition addition to the game um, so what next? Uh, in new in-game user badges. Haven't got a clue what this is. I thought it was something to do with these guys, with these little pictures, um, which are usually from your from your heroes. Select uh, so that's main. Going to change your image. Uh, maybe it just means because there's new champions, there's new um, new badges. I do not know. Maybe it's to do with the chat. I still haven't figured that bit out yet. But there's new user badges. Uh, new friend invitation feature. Um, so if we click on the invite button. I should have looked through this before I did this video. I haven't even seen it. So my, my invite code. Uh, 6FKSU5. So I can share that. Click the share button. And we get a reward. That's going to take us to our social media where we can post that on there. I'm not gonna do that just yet. Okay, so a friend you're invited to the game wins in the arena one time. So yeah, so every time you invite people and they progress, you get rewards for it. So it's a nice incentive to just post it out there to see if anyone's interested. Um, and yeah, and they can you know pick up from your code and you get rewards from it as well. Five friends you invite complete the first three quests. Ten friends you invite complete three chapters of main quests. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, so, <laughs> probably going to share this as soon as I stop this video. And I'm probably going to post this key on the comments as well. Um, and I'll encourage you all, if you go, if you guys are watching this, um, you know, use the comments below. If you're interested in trying to get these rewards, uh, comment below, post your invite codes, and hopefully we can help each other out and get some some rewards. Uh, so that will be pretty nice. Okay, so that's a good new, new little feature to the game. Uh, new heroes, Odin and Bone King. So I'm going to talk about those a little bit later because they're part of a, the current event which is out. Um, but they do look pretty nice. And uh, new chat filter. Uh, yeah. It's just some messages. I don't know, I, maybe it just filters them out a bit better than what it was doing before. Um, okay, so adjustments. Drain Ruin affects now ignore anti-injuries effects. Okay, I'm not. I haven't really used that many drain drain ruins in this uh, so far. Um, yeah, it may still use it, so it hasn't been an issue for me. If you guys are using drain ruins and you're finding those, of, you know, it's not draining as much as it should on enemies with certain buffs, then I should fix all that for you. Uh, Catacombs added a taunt immunity to the boss eye. Let's see, yeah, what else have we got on here? And achievements a converted five star hero now also count counts for the achievement missions so this was a bit of a, a surprise while i got it and i was like so grateful to get this this was really nice so if you guys have been playing for a while you've got so many five stars uh check your quests go to your achievements and they've added it on there so every um every so many well i'm gonna activate 25 five star heroes in your hero archives i've clicked on this a few times already 
but it's a skill cat and 300 gems, so that's going to be quite a few rewards for some people. Um, I know it has been for me. I think I was on like a, like a few hundred gems. Uh, I logged into this uh, earlier today and just went back up to yeah 1,699. So uh, pretty nice addition. But I'm loving that. Some extra skill cats and gems. Pretty nice. And right, so that's all the that's all the added content. That is the uh, adjustments as well, which are the achievements and the uh, the runes. Uh, everything else is bug fixes. I think the main ones that send out are going to send out for a lot of people are the Zimiducer bug, bug fix on Devouring Poison for attacking the target with, with Poison debuff. The cooldown of the skill will not be reset. Um, I don't have Medusa yet. Uh, fix the skill of Bone King, Piercing Halo. He was new into the game as well, wasn't I'm pretty sure he was just added. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't, I don't know. Well, just say... Yeah, new heroes, Odin and Bone King. So, they've kind of just fixed their own bug same day it came out. Uh, okay. And fix the skill of Joan, Oracle Blade, that did not reduce the cooldown after killing the target. Oh god, thank god for this one, right? I thought it was going crazy. Um, I don't know if a lot of you know about Joan. Joan is an amazing hero, an amazing farming hero. Uh, she's the light faction, though. Um, I've already used her today. But yeah, I didn't notice this in, uh, uh, a while back. I was using her as uh, like a friend rep, rep hero um, to do a bit of farming. And she would literally just annihilate everything. Um, and then like, I don't know, like a month back or something, when they were having a few problems with with the servers and stuff, her, yeah, I noticed I'll be using her and she wasn't clearing stuff as fast. She wasn't getting her, her, her skill wasn't resetting. Um, but now that's fixed, so she's back up to like, uh, you know, one-shotting these guys, doing a six-second run, which is brilliant. Uh, I don't have her, which, <laughs> but I really want to get her. She's... Seems like an amazing farmer to have. Um, but yeah, good news for you guys who have Joan, who have looked a bit to be puller so far. Um, so what else do we have on here? Uh, fix the display animation while crafting runes. Fix a daily quest book that wouldn't refresh. Fix the three day perks tasks problem. Fix the arena defender book that wouldn't distribute terms properly. Fix most of the connection issues. Fix display problems that were causing clone crashes. Fixed a bug that wouldn't display the limited events. Fixed other minor bugs. Those haven't really been an issue for me. If anyone has been issue have has been having with issues with them in them areas, then yeah, I hope this does the trick for you. Hope that yeah, your problems are solved with that now. And um, so others: uh, server uptime and client connection optimized, translation op optimized, work in progress for French, Spanish, Portuguese, Russian versions. Uh, okay, so that's kind of like the whole notes for this update. But yeah, they've added things, which I'm liking. Um, so now to get into the kind of like big event for this is the two new uh, heroes that have been added to the game. And this is where you get the summon rate plus down here in the summon section. So if you click on this, these are a really, you, you get the pictures on the left side of the two new heroes that have been added to the game. Um, and I, I kind of, I really hate this about this game as well. They've put like, on, on the summon side on the right, they're prioritized to like most, um, you got the highest rank in summon, uh, to lowest. But because it's already on there, like, I usually go straight to the summon thing when I'm doing my dailies and like make a few LD scrolls by accident. I really wish they would kind of change that in some way. Um, but anyway, ah, uh, that's my thing. Um, so these are two new heroes. We got Bone King, and we have. I can click on this guy, Odin. Um, that's a light hero. That's an evil hero. So let's go and take a look at those guys. Um, actually, let's go in the holiday event first. So this is part of a part of an event for these two new heroes. So, uh, for the next few days, you have a 400% chance during this event to summon. Uh, one of these heroes. That just means the chances of getting a five star haven't been accre increased at all. Uh, but if you do happen to pull a five star on um, if your normal 
circulation, your lawful, chaotic, or evil um, scrolls. If you pull a five star on those, then there's a 400% chance that it's going to be Bone King. If you manage to pull a five star nat on your light and dark scrolls, you're going to get a 400% chance to pull Odin. Uh, so that's all, all that means. You know, your chances of getting a five star are not increased, but the chances of them being them particular heroes is increased uh, by, by a lot. Uh, one thing, did I go over this? It's in there in the notes. Yeah, so I didn't. Uh, I kind of went over this. So for the adjustments to the achievements, when I was talking about the achievements um, in here, so this is the, the adjustments. I've already clicked on it. Scars, but like get a certain five star hero. So I kind of covered the wrong thing uh, so achievement wise um, you get achievements again five stars so I logged on and got a few of those which was brilliant I got skills uh, skill cats and that's just from seven maintenance uh, some skill cats and some gems like quite a few gems from that but um, I think the point that I was trying to make with that is um, and I was having an issue with this as well, so I, I got a 5 star hero that I didn't want and I converted it to another 5 star uh, Which was my destructive idol, Dest <laughs> destruction idol um, And that wasn't registering before, but now it has Now I can click this and I can get my reward for it, so that is what it meant um, So there's kind of two sides to that, so they've uh, I don't know whether it's like added, but there's uh, the achievements for for getting five star heroes for, for leveling up five star heroes and then also um for five star heroes that you've re-rolled weren't displaying properly and i had this issue and now it's just been activated so i can click this reward has been changed as well um so that's pretty nice um and of course in we're going to where we're we going into uh, let's just go through these heroes so bone king so a lot of this skill this is an attack attack hero. Um, all his skills are based off having crit damage. So the amount of crit damage you have on this hero um, is going to be how effective he is. Um, some of them are okay. So take this one for instance. This is a two selection one. Um, <clears throat> So after attack has finished, 10% chance to receive an additional attack turn for every 30% of own crit damage. Uh, so every 30% of crit damage he's got, he's gonna have a an extra 10% of taking another turn. Um, so if you got if you got 9% crit damage on this on this hero, he's gonna have 30% chance to take another turn. Um, the little the thing that worries me about this is his passive piercing howl. Anyway, this is the one that they fixed. Uh, which have problems to be triggered uh, but just reading this while alive all allies attacks have a 70 percent chance to deal more damage initial multiplier is one uh, times one for every 30 percent of bone king's crit damage increases multiplier by 0 0.05 uh, which to me is very low so you're gonna it looks like you're gonna have to have a lot of uh, uh, crit damage to be able to make this count so i'm not too excited about this guy um i don't know he doesn't seem like too great in my uh, opinion yeah obviously as a nat 5 he's gonna be uh, okay but he doesn't like stand out as anything special for me um the good thing is he does look pretty badass that carrot model looks pretty nice um yeah so that's something to look forward to um, however, on the other side, um, this guy, and if you get this guy, you've pretty much won the game. No, he's, he's, uh, he seems like a good hero to have for an attack hero. Uh, he's got some nice uh, abilities here. This is just going to be uh, attacking enemies to deal 430% of attacking damage, pretty standard. This attack ignores the target's invincibility and shields and has a 50% chance to stun the target for one turn. Um, okay, so 50% chance to stun on the A1 and also ignores inv invincibility and shields, which is pretty nice. Just uh, all his damage ignores invincibility and shields. Um, and they do additional things. So this is an attack five times at random. There's a chance to reduce target's defense for one turn. 
doing 210% of attacking damage. Or you can attack all enemies, deal 360% of damage. And has a chance to stun for one turn. That's only 30%. Can you get that up anymore? No, but you can get it to a three turn. You can get both to a three turn. But the biggest one, um, I think that everyone's like kind of shocked by, <laughs> is uh, this one. Just the numbers from there makes it seem like an amazing skill to have. So attack all enemies two times. Each attack, <laughs> each attack deals 1,250% of attacking damage. Damage dealt is shared evenly among living enemies. Attacks ignore targets invincibility and shields. So obviously this is going to be a big attack. Um, so let's just work this out right here. So um, if you're attacking one enemy, it's going to be 1,250% of attacking damage, which is going to be a big hit. If we're attacking, say, five enemies, that is going to be 250% uh, of attacking damage. Um, but that's going to attack... That's going to hit them twice. So it's still a nice uh, amount of damage. And of course, it in ignores invincibility and shields. So it's still going to be really good. Uh, cooldown goes down to four cool cooldowns. Uh, but generally, this is going to be like a, kind of like a boss slayer. You're going to want this for the single target nukes. Uh, and also doing all these uh, reduced defense or, or a chance to stun. And then the leader skill is uh, crit rate by 33% for all heroes. Uh, there are some other passives here, but uh, generally, just using this guy for full attack, uh, PvE, you'd be wanting this skill. This skill looks shit hot. So, really nice. And that's twice as well. So if you're attacking one target, that's 1,250% of attacking damage twice. Crazy. So that's going to do a hell of a lot of damage uh, for on, a, on single targets or... Yeah, one or two targets. Um, so yeah, really nice uh, hero to get. Ah, so um, oh, I've logged in as well. Uh, so yeah, so all in all, a pretty nice update. It has uh, added some new features to the game, fixed a lot of bugs for you know, for people who've experienced them, and there are still some features that I haven't been able to figure out in this yet. But yeah, pretty nice. So yeah, now for the uh, little event actually, the one that they posted on Facebook. So I only found about this, out about this while I was trying to find the patch notes. Um, okay, ah, so the Easter event, this has been posted on their Facebook page. So if you don't really care about finding this out, then I'm going to post this on screen. If you do want to head over to the Facebook page um, and kind of figure out for yourself, then just stop this video or a countdown, because that's when I'm going to show it. So, three, two, one. There you go. There's the code. Uh, click on your icon on the top left. Uh, click on pack code. Enter that code here. Click confirm. And then you'll get a few free gifts. Um, which will end up in your coffer. Okay. So, that is it for this video. If you found any of this information useful, um, and liked any of the content then please click like on that video uh leave a comment if you want to share if you want to share your uh, invite code leave that down in the comments hopefully we can help each other out in getting some uh, getting some extra rewards i'm going to leave mine down there as well yeah and also ring that notification bell for more updates so that's it from me thank you very much hope you have a brilliant easter and hopefully i'll see you guys again in the next video take care stay safe